Welcome back to Tire Sizes Part 2. So now we've got our table, this is our input stuff, and now we're going to continue with the actual calculations. So my width in millimeters is 245, but I don't want it to be 245. I, like, I don't want min millimeters, I need inches. So we're going to use a built-in formula that Excel has that's convert. So I'm going to go equals, I'm going to type the word convert, open parentheses, and now notice it wants some stuff from me because I have a built-in formula. So the first thing that it wants is it wants the number that I want to convert. Well, I want to convert 245, so I'm going to click on that. Notice that I'm not putting any numbers in. I'm clicking on the cell, and that's important because we're going to click and drag it later. Okay, so that's my input for that one. I'm going to do comma. My next input that it wants is it wants from what units? Well, we're going to millimeters to inches, so I'm going to go quotation marks, millimeters, quotation marks, comma, quotation marks, inches, quotation marks. Then I'm going to close parentheses. So this says convert this value from this unit to this unit. Ta-da, and it converted. Okay. Now my height, before um, we said that our aspect ratio was equal to our height divided by our width. So in order to find my height, I, I just have to multiply my width times my aspect ratio. So I'm going to go equals. I'm going to click on my width times, which is shift eight, click on my aspect ratio. So in this case, it's equals B5 times B6. And you can see the boxes are, are blue and red to show you which ones it's using. And I go enter. And so now my height, and that's the height of the tire on both sides, that's 3.375 inches, 3.76. Okay, my diameter is the height, let's see, do I have an, I guess I don't have a little, thing. okay. So if I looked at like a uh, diagram, so you have your rim and then outside your rim, you have your tire. So for the overall diameter, you have the rim diameter plus the little bit of tire on both sides. So this is gonna be my rim plus two times my height because it's pieces of tire on top and bottom. So I go equals this one plus, which is shift equals, and I want two times that one. So two, shift eight for times, and then I click on my height. So for me, it's equals B8 plus two times B7. That gives me that. And then my circumference is pi times my diameter. Well, to get pi, there's no like special key. What I have to do is I go equals, I type PI, open parentheses, close parentheses. There's nothing in there. It's just PI, PI open parentheses, close parentheses, because that tells Excel, hey, it's a function and then times my diameter. That's my overall circumference. Now, I wanna do the same for all of these, but since I set up the formula, instead of typing in numbers, I don't have to do the actual work. So check this out. If I want this one, I go, see at the very bottom right, there's a little square. And if you hover over the square, it turns into a tiny plus. If I click that, hold it down and drag it across, it fills in the calculation for me. So I do the same thing here, bottom right corner till it goes to a tiny plus, click it, drag it, and it's there. And then these two, since I'm dragging both across, I can select them at the same time. So I grab both of those, bottom right corner, tiny plus, click it, drag it, and it fills it in. Now that looks good. I can change the decimal places. So I have these already highlighted. I can go up here, just beside general decrease decimal. I could decrease it down to two or three decimal places I'm just going to put two. Same with these, but we're going to run out of time. Okay, so the last thing that I did in this one is I wanted a scale factor in these. So I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to copy these over because we want to be able to we want to be able to compare our new tires to our old tires. Well, so to compare the new tire to the old tire, we're going to just look at circumference. I'm going to go equals. I'm going to click on the circumference of tire one. Divide. So slash, click on the factory. I'm going to go through this kind of fast because I am going to run out of time. I'll go equals, click on this one, divide. And we're always going to refer back to factory. So this is why I'm not clicking and dragging. And I go equals. And then same here. I go equals this one, divide, factory, enter. And there's that. Okay, so I want to use my scale factors and I want to I want to compare it to my speed. And so I'm going to run out of time for sure on that one. So that's going to be our next video, which will be part three.